And the center's clampdown on deemed universities may have been put on hold by the Supreme Court, but Education Minister Kapil Sibyl has got support from the Tamil Nadu government. Sam Daniel explains why. Deemed universities must go. That's the Tamil Nadu government's demand. At 28, the state has the maximum number of deemed universities. Half of these are facing action. We are only the silent spectators. That is why we reported, we brought the matter to the central government. The state government is concerned over the manner in which these universities are run, often violating reservation norms, admitting students beyond the sanctioned strength and charging exorbitant fees. Many of the deemed universities, uh, they have not looked at education as a philanthropic activity, as a commercial activity they have been following. There is a disproportionate investment that has gone into it. You are running in the centre. There is not even one rupee that is given by the government or any agencies into this. Later on, they said that so long as you comply with a ratio of 1 is to 15, one professor for every 15 students, to that extent if you comply, you can move from 180 to 3, 210 or 240. While deemed universities have become like shops selling degrees, many professional colleges run by the government are not any better when it comes to infrastructure. Is the Tamil Nadu government's cure going to be worse than the disease? In Chennai, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.